Alright, this is a Christmas Spirit Tarot reading. This is the five card draw. I think the last time I did this was a three card draw. Um, but yeah, it's it's fine. It's it's alright. Yeah, it's a three card draw and then right now this is a five card draw. It's it's a little bit more in detail. It talks about more religious um, artifacts and things. So um, the first question is the North Star. What keeps you going towards your destination? We have a star, a literal star for you, Aries. Um, so, the star is connection, a chance to step up if you are sympathizing, gentle feelings. A lot of people and things um, will begin to connect. Linked by a deep uh, friendship, uh, will likely to be acquired. So you're, you're kind of going towards either a friendship or a new part in your life or maybe to a point of understanding with somebody. Um, but I feel like there's a lot of things changing. Um, so there's, there's going to be a new relationship coming in, surely. Um, there's, there's almost like that, um, the cycle loop of the twin flames or the soulmates where it looks like a yin yang um, type of vision I'm having. So you might actually be having that type of relationship pretty soon or you might have it now. So, you know, it's, it's pretty good. It's not too many fights. It, everything's kind of um, either brought together or talked about or it solves itself through you know, I saw this and thought we should have it, you know, type of thing, but, um, I feel like it solves itself, okay, a lot of times. Okay, so the next three cards are going to be the threes, three wise messengers. These are three gifts that aid you on your journey. Okay, so we have the king of wands, we have the Empress. We also have the Eight of Cups. So I'm going to have to slide all these down. So we have all these. So the King of Wands, even if you're, even if a strong rival appears, face each other fairly without tricks. They might turn out to be an unexpected um, friend. So there's there's the through. And you're going through the anchor of suspicion and not being too sure. And then we have the Empress. The Empress is your soulmate's appearance operating as a team rather than by yourself will bring more like every member should contribute what he or she is good at in a give and take fashion abundant personal connections will become your fortune so you might have a lot of friends coming your way um with me and yeah i i never had time for friendships but um yeah i feel like you you're my, kind of the same way um you're, you're kind of like who are these people but um I feel like they're new people, so you might, you know, kind of be a little stressed out in meeting new people, but you can also be very delighted to meet some new people. You know, it probably has been a long time since you met some new friends. Okay, so the last one is going to be the Eight of Cups. The Eight of Cups is forethought and the time of recharging, even if you don't mention your honesty, everyone recognizes it. If you can serve your role property, properly in life, good news may come unexpectedly. So, there, there's going to be some silent moon stuff that's going to happen with um, your life and how you feel about certain things or um, different things that have happened and your take on them. And people will be willing to listen. So I feel like there's a lot of people that are going to be listening to what you have to say. But I feel like 
with everything going on. I feel like it's either you're getting new people that are coming in, you're getting a soulmate coming in, or you're getting a new job, I think, or you're moving. So there, there's some milestones here and a lot of new people. So I, I just feel like you might be moving to a new place or you might be taking on a lot more than you expected you would be in the same place that you've been living. So it's either or the same coin. So number five, we have a gift you have to give somebody else. We have the high priestess in reverse. High priestess in reverse is a person who will support you appears, but is is bad to reply to only one person. So uh, you shouldn't rely on anybody either, but you know. I feel like you're gonna have to take on a lot more than what you give yourself credit for. Um because you can't rely on one person. I feel like too many people like when they get married they rely on the other person for their happiness and um, gratuity and all that shit. Um, but with me, I'm just like, I'm just happy to be here. Like, I'll make anything for somebody. But, like, I I have limitations on my own health and issues like that. So I do need some, some TLC once in a while. Um, I overexert myself. That's my problem. But, like, I'm all for it. Like, with relationships I'm usually the one cooking cleaning doing the yard work but like as long as like they're okay with me doing that I'm totally fine with that but like I need TLC by the end of the night you know what I mean um <laughs> yeah I'm usually self you know reliant on a lot of things and I feel like a lot of Aries are too but when you're in a relationship you get kind of Dependent on other people, which can be a bit of a struggle for somebody else to live up to your expectations. Alright, so that's that's all I have to say. But anyway, hopefully this helps you out. Um, it, it gives you a take. You know, you don't have to take it at full registered flaws. But it's, it's something to look at in um, like more of a religious way. I know somebody requested me to do more religious spreads, but like tarot card reading is a religion. Um, so you know how that goes. Anyway, Aries, I will see you in the next reading. You take care of yourself, take care of everyone, and I will see you in the next reading. All right, later.